Sean. Sean over here at Reverb. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download a uh, VST or a standalone plugin from the Reverb Sync software store and then we're going to open and use it in a Logic session. So in this case I'm looking for some kind of whacked out synth, something with a whole bunch of sounds. Let's see what we got here. I'll click into my instrument tab. Got couple things to choose from. Oh, I'm going to try this one out here. Symptom. So to click into this, we're going to click View Details. You'll see that it automatically recognizes that I'm on Mac OS. But if for whatever reason, you could also see that it's uh, available for Windows here. But in this case, I just want the Mac Audio Unit plugin, so I'm going to click Download. And now that that's done, lickety split. I'm going to unpack this DMG file. As with anything software related, you do want to read the user license agreement very carefully because they could be telling you that they're just going to sue you for no reason in here. You got to read it. So we've installed our plugin. Now we're going to pop open Logic Pro X, create an empty project. So it's going to ask us what kind of track we're trying to create. Naturally, I want to do a software instrument track because that's what we just downloaded from Reverb Sync. So here where it says default patch, I'm going to go to my AU audio unit instruments and then Ohmforce who makes this plugin. And let's make it stereo because two is almost always better than one. So we're going to create that track here. It's going to automatically map to outputs one and two. Select my octave on the controller and of course, so as you can see, it is quite easy, if not unbelievably impossibly easy, to download, install, and insert into your logic session a virtual instrument or plug-in processor, utility, anything like that from the Reverb Sync store.